half of them were gone. Br'er Fox was mad. That rabbit took some of my peanuts. Story bugs. Hello and welcome to Storytime. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to read about Br'er Rabbit and his friends. I don't know if they're friends after this story. You'll, see, you'll be able to see for yourself. <laughs> but this was adapted from the original stories by Joel Chandler Harris. And this is a Disney collection story. Br'er Rabbit lived in a briar patch. It was full of twigs and stickers. Nobody would ever want to go there. But Br'er Rabbit was small. When he crawled in between those twigs, he felt just as cozy as could be. Br'er Fox lived in a house. It was full of chairs and pillows. There was even a rug on the floor. You might think that Br'er Fox was happy, but Br'er Fox was not happy. He knew that Br'er Rabbit liked to play tricks on him, but he never knew what the next trick would be. One day, Br'er Fox planted some peanuts. Br'er Rabbit sat down to watch. As soon as Br'er Fox saw Br'er Rabbit, he smelled trouble. When these peanuts are ripe, said Br'er Fox, that rabbit is going to take them. Br'er Fox got some boards and some nails. He built a fence all the way around his peanut patch. Br'er Rabbit was surprised. Does that fox think he can keep me out of his peanut patch? He said. By and by, the peanuts were ripe. That night, Br'er Rabbit dug a hole under the fence. He filled his bag with peanuts and left. In the morning, Br'er Fox came to see how his peanuts were doing. Look, he's whistling. Half of them were gone. Br'er Fox was mad. That rabbit took some of my peanuts, he said. Now how did he get in? Br'er Fox looked all around. At last he saw a little hole under the fence. So this is how he got in, said Br'er Fox. This gives me an idea. Br'er Fox got some rope and some stakes. That was Br'er Rabbit's last trick, he said. He made a trap next to the little hole. It was a trap to catch Br'er Rabbit. That night, Br'er Rabbit came back for the rest of the peanuts. When he crawled through the hole, he stepped into the trap. The rope grabbed him and zipped him into the air. You might think that Br'er Rabbit was scared, but Br'er Rabbit was not scared. Does that fox think I can't get out of this? said Br'er Rabbit. I wonder how he's gonna. Early the next morning, Br'er Bear came down the road. Howdy, called Br'er Rabbit. Howdy, called Br'er Bear. What are you doing up there? Working, said Br'er Rabbit. Working, said Br'er Bear. What kind of work is that? Scarecrow work, said Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Fox pays a dollar a minute. Wow, said Br'er Bear. I wish I knew how to do scarecrow work. It's easy, said Br'er Rabbit. Pull me down and I'll show you how. Br'er Bear was glad to pull Br'er Rabbit down. And Br'er Rabbit was glad to help Br'er Bear take his place in the air.
If you see any crows, said Br'er Rabbit, just make a scary face. Like this? asked Br'er Bear. That is a scary face, said Br'er Rabbit. Thanks, said Br'er Bear. Just then, Br'er Fox came to see if Br'er Rabbit was in the trap. There was Br'er Bear hanging in the air, making strange faces. So you are the peanut thief, said Br'er Fox. Peanut thief, said Br'er Bear. I'm no peanut thief, I'm your new scarecrow. I took Br'er Rabbit's place. Br'er Fox cut the rope and Br'er Bear fell down. You are one dumb bear, said Br'er Fox. That rabbit played a trick on you. Now listen here, said Br'er Bear. I'm not as dumb as you think. You owe me a dollar. Br'er Rabbit said so. I don't owe you anything, said Br'er Fox. Can't you see Br'er Rabbit played a trick on us? Then why don't we play a trick on Br'er Rabbit? asked Br'er Bear. <laughs> You're not as dumb as I thought, said Br'er Fox. Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear got some stuffing and very sticky glue. Br'er Rabbit is sure going to be surprised, said Br'er Bear. That's not all he's going to be, said Br'er Fox. They made a stuffed rabbit. They painted it with the very sticky glue. Then they took the stuffed rabbit down the road to the briar patch. Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear hid in the bushes. Br'er Rabbit came by and saw the stuffed rabbit. Howdy, said Br'er Rabbit. But the stuffed rabbit did not say howdy. Can't you talk, asked Br'er Rabbit. Where are your manners? The stuffed rabbit just sat there. Br'er Rabbit was mad. If you don't say howdy by the time I count to three, I'm going to punch you in the nose. One, two, three. <sniffs> Br'er Rabbit punched him in the nose. His hand got stuck in that sticky glue. Let me go, cried Br'er Rabbit, or I'll punch you again. The stuffed rabbit did not let go. Br'er Rabbit punched him again. Now both hands were stuck in the glue. Br'er Rabbit was really mad. Take this, cried Br'er Rabbit. He kicked him with his right foot. And this, cried Br'er Rabbit. And he kicked him with his left foot. He's in a real pickle now. Now Br'er Rabbit was as stuck as he could be. His hands were stuck. His feet were stuck. Even his ears were stuck. Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear jumped out of the bushes. Your tricks are over, Br'er Rabbit, said Br'er Fox. As soon as we fix a fire, we are going to roast you. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that all, said Br'er Rabbit? I was afraid you were going to throw me in the briar patch. I don't think Br'er Rabbit is scared of roasting, said Br'er Bear. Then we won't roast him, said Br'er Fox. We'll hang him. I don't care what you do, said Br'er Rabbit. Just don't throw me in the briar patch. I don't think Br'er Rabbit is scared of hanging, said Br'er Bear. Then we won't hang him, said Br'er Fox. We'll drown him. Roast me, hang me, drown me, said Br'er Rabbit. But please, please, please don't throw me in the briar patch. I don't think Br'er Rabbit is scared of drowning, said Br'er Bear. 
But he sure is scared of that briar patch. Just then, Br'er Fox had an idea. I know, said Br'er Fox. We'll throw him in the briar patch. So Br'er Bear yanked Br'er Rabbit out of the glue and threw him, kerblunk, right into the middle of the briar patch. Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear started dancing. That rabbit is gone forever, cried Br'er Fox. Just then, they heard a voice. It was coming from the briar patch. It was Br'er Rabbit. Me? Gone forever? called Br'er Rabbit. I'm not gone, I'm home. I told you not to throw me in the briar patch. The briar patch is where I live. This was your dumb idea, said Br'er Fox. No, it was your dumb idea, said Br'er Bear. But Br'er Rabbit did not wait around to see who was right. He was off to get the rest of the peanuts. <laughs> He got away with all the goods, didn't he? He sure knows how to trick those other folks. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for this story, and I hope you'll come back for another one. If you guys enjoyed reading that story, would you please click subscribe down below? We read new stories just like this one every day, and we would love to let you know when there's a new story to listen to.